All right, guys, today is a big one. Uh, Home Depot 2023 Halloween stuff just got leaked. Obviously not everything, but uh, a couple big things and a couple things to look forward to. Um, I'm a little indifferent with some of it, but I'll I'll get into that as we as we move on. I just wanted to make this quick short video today. I was sitting on my desk anyway, so I'm like, yeah, you know what? Let me uh, let me let me, let me do this. So uh, without further ado, this is Leone Productions. Let's get into it. All right, so this is the first picture I was introduced to. Um, so it looks like they got you know kind of the same facade as they as they did last year. I'm not 100% sure, but obviously the 12 foot skeleton's back from what I'm looking at. A couple new tombstones, which I'm looking at, uh, pretty nice. A uh, smoldering reaper of souls is back, which is very nice. I wanted him last year, so I'm probably gonna pick him up for sure. Um, so the big thing, obviously, in this picture. Well, the two big things in this picture are the giant skeleton head in the back and this sinister looking guy in the front. Um, I think he's about seven to eight feet from what a couple of my friends were telling me, but I, uh, I really like him. I didn't like him at first when I was looking at him, but the furthermore, I looked into his uh, design, like the facial features and all that, you know, I, I can't, I can't, I can't diss it. I like it. I like it a lot. Um. Obviously, I've never really been a fan of the cheap clothes like that, but, you know, he's pretty damn cool for, for what he is. Uh, I hope he does cool animations or has good audio. The other thing I'm noticing, which I'm hopefully hoping it is, uh, right next to it, you can see, like, the three-pillar thing. I think that's a skeleton tower like the pumpkins, like, from last year. If that's true, I will be very, very happy, very, very excited. I hope that's the case and I cannot tell what the hell that thing is like that puffball like I don't know if it's like a spider or like poodle thing I really can't tell what that is if you guys know what that is please let me know I, I can't figure it out for the life of me all right this is the creme de crop of Home Depot stuff this year for sure um just looking at this thing I'm I'm blown away I love the design it's a friggin either 10 foot 12 foot skeleton bat creature i i'm obsessed with it i love the design i love the wings i love the design on the wings um only thing i'm scared about is the wind but uh i'm sure they probably figured that out already but i love 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 this thing a thousand percent um that's all i gotta say about it <laughs> i'm sure you guys will like it too but um another thing i noticed is the thing in the back um not not the ghost dog sheet thing uh the one next to it it's a little scarecrow not really sure what it does not really sure what it is uh hopefully we'll see that later on um the guy with the fishing with the fishing rod holding the little skeleton fish um it's okay you know can't really can't really say anything about it i'm not really blown away and i'm not really like i don't hate it I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. I, I, I'll tell you what, though. I do like that little uh, skeleton crocodile or alligator on the bottom, though. It's pretty cute. I like it. All right, so it looks like they got the Witch's Cauldron back. Uh, it's pretty good seller, so I can see it being back. Um, is that a... I don't know what that thing is in the back, that skeleton thing. Oh, it's, it's, it's another dog, I think. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so the doll holding the teddy bear. I think it rips its head off. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'm just not a fan of dolls. It kind of scare me. But, uh, yeah, um, also shout out to Hawaiian Shirt Santa in the back, uh, friggin' love that. <laughs> it can't go wrong with a, a vacation Santa. Um, also, the other big thing is the Wendigo creature in the back. I don't like the look of it. I think it's kind of weird looking. Personally, that's just my opinion. Don't come after me. Uh, but, I, I don't know, I, I'm indifferent with it. I, I don't really, hopefully it does something cool that will change my mind but let's uh let, let's see how that goes i like it though also there's this like i don't know if that's an inflatable or you know inflatable animatronic type thing like mr punchy or whatever i see the base i see a base to it but i, I don't really know what that does I'm not, I'm not really sure i hope we get better pictures later on in the day i don't know we'll see i just want to get this video out quick oh yeah also this guy all right, so what do you guys think about this year's lineup so far? I know there's definitely going to be more stuff, more stuff that we haven't seen. It's just, uh, 
creeping its way into the Halloween season, halfway to Halloween. Uh, this is usually when Home Depot does their big event, uh, like showing off Christmas, Halloween stuff anyway. So maybe we'll get some more stuff as the day goes on. It's still early. It's still 1130. I just really wanted to quickly run this video out because um, I'm just on my way to work now. But uh, yeah, I, what do you guys think? Let me know some of your favorites down below. Uh, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, just voice your opinion. Like, comment, subscribe for more future videos on this channel. Please go check out the Buster Brandy Show. I work my butt off on this and I really want everybody to see it. Check it out. I'm going to link it in the description below. I'm sure you guys will love it if you like my Halloween stuff. Scared Sheetless is a Halloween episode and I spent a lot of time on that one, which I'm sure you Halloween lovers will enjoy greatly. All right, this is Leone Productions signing out. Have a great Halloween season.